When you first power up your Q burner, it will say off UPR, meaning off unprogrammed. Hold the F and the A buttons until it says code, let go, enter your password, press the minus sign to get to the Y. Five Ys, press enter. At 400, press enter. At run, press enter. Now you are at phase 12. You will be at phase 12 until you get power to X503.1. Your operating control, low water cutoff, and burner switch. Turn my burner switch on. And I notice that my alarm light comes on. Also up in the corner here, we can see that there is a message. Press escape, off S. Off S indicates the safety loop. The safety loop is a combination of this circuit between X303.1 and X303.2, as well as between 304.2 and 304.1 containing the high limit and auxiliary low water cutoff. Turn my burner switch off. The error goes away. I get back into 400 series. Ensure that my safety loop is made. Turn my burner switch on and I get to 22. From here, the burner will not move until the low gas pressure switch is made. We get a fault message, lockout C, dot C, code of 20, and dot D of 1. We turn the burner switch off. Reset the error. Ensure that our low gas pressure switch is made and we have power to X501.2. Get back into commissioning. Enter, enter. Turn the burner switch on. Now with our low gas pressure made, the blower motor is still on as previously in phase 22 while waiting for low gas pressure. And it will stay here until combustion air is made, X302.1. We get an error code, 3, diagnostic 0. Turn our burner switch off. Reset the error. Correct any issues with our combustion air switch so that when the blower motor is on, we have power to X302.1. Get back into commissioning. Enter. Enter. We'll turn the burner switch on. The blower motor comes on. Combustion air is made. Low gas pressure is good. We start our purge countdown of 30 seconds.
We are now at P0, our light off point. From here we can change the fan speed by pressing F and A to get to the VSD. We press plus and release, minus and release to lower it, which it does real time. We press plus to increase the speed and similarly A we hold down to adjust the gas butterfly by pressing plus while holding down A or minus. When we are satisfied with our light off position we press plus. See my ignition transformer icon, main fuel, get an error message. Turn my burner switch off. Lockout code 21, diagnostic 0. I'll reset it. This time the issue is the high gas pressure switch. Correct that and try again. Get back into parameters. 400, enter, run, enter. We'll turn our burner switch on. Ideally all these switches are appropriately set and you don't run into these errors. We're counting down our purge, 21, 20. Now the purge is complete. We've gotten to our light off point. Press the plus button. Again, see our ignition transformer, main fuel. And now we have a flame. We're counting down our trial for flame establishment. We're in P0 still. Now this is our light off point. If we see that we want to change it, we can do that here as well. Press A, hold it down. Press the plus button to open up the butterfly and put more gas into it. Hold down the A, press the minus button to close and put less gas in. And similarly by holding both at the same time and the minus button to decrease the fan speed or the amount of air. And similarly with the plus button to increase air. P0 is our light off. If we press the plus button, we are at P1. P1 is our minimum. So once we have lit off, we will not return to P0, but our minimum will be our P1 setting. Here again, we will be is your low fire, P9 is your high fire. You can see that P1 is blinking. That means that the control accepts P1 and believes that it is verified. The method of changing the fuel by holding A and the plus or minus or the air by holding both and the plus or minus is the same for every point. So P0 is blinking or P1 was blinking. We'll just make sure that P0 blinks as well. P1 was previously blinking. And we'll want to adjust these using our combustion analyzer with low fire, 7 to 9 percent O2 and less than 0.04 percent CO or 400 parts per million. High fire is typically between 3 and 4 percent and less than 0.04 CO again. So we'll need to set that by adjusting each of these points. And once we do have everything correctly adjusted, We'll ensure that we go to each point and that it settles and blinks. I'm just going through my preset points, but you will be letting each one settle, checking your analyzer, adjusting accordingly.
clinking. All nine of them blinking. I'll press escape and escape and escape. And now it says I'm operating and the percent is going down. It is going down to low fire. I have a simulator so I can make the temperature of the boiler go down and then it will want to increase the speed, increase the firing rate. 100%. I'm going to hold down the F again until it says load and now I am in manual mode. I cannot adjust it until I hold the F down first and now by pressing the minus button I can adjust it manually. So we are now heading towards my desired 55% operating rate. We'll just hold the escape button down until the whole display blinks. We'll let it go and we'll see that the percentage rate of firing is no longer blinking, indicating that we are no longer in manual mode. So the control is going back to its desired high fire. Hold the F down. It stops it in its tracks. We have to press the F first before pressing the minus or the plus. You can see that we are again going down. But if we hold the escape button to exit, let's see now the display is not entirely, the whole thing did not blink, so our percentage rate of firing is still blinking, indicating manual mode. Hold it down. Whole thing blinked. Let go. The firing rate is no longer blinking. We'll turn our burner switch off 